My name is Ken Kobayashi. I want to say I'm an ordinary college student, but everyone, including myself, knows I'm an introvert. My everyday life consists of going back and forth from my college to my part-time job. My life isn't exciting, nor is it bright. I'm just living an extremely plain college life. Ken, help me! Hey, Charo. His name is Charo Yabasugi, my one and only friend. Hey, let me copy your homework today, too. You're the only one I can trust. I make you my very own coffee in return. Ah, uh, fine. Your coffee is quite delicious. I'll let you see it for that sake, but this is the last time. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Oh, hey, it's Emma. Oh, you're right. Woo, she's looking fine today, too. She's an extreme gangster girl named Emma Saito. She used to be the leader of a ladies' gang and looked over hundreds of gangster girls. There are many other rumors about her. She's never lost a fight. She's fought a hundred people on her own. She has wide connection with a lot of people, etc. But there are also a lot of exaggerated rumors as well. Emma has a lot of presents. Man, I want to go out with her. It would be so nice if a beauty like her was by my side. Eek. Woo, she's a badass. Man, I really want to get to know her more. Get to know her more, huh? Man, I'm tired today. Boo! <laughs> wow! You overreact too much. Emma. Yo, man, you look so gloomy as always. Uh, don't say that. The unbeatable gangster Emma lives in the same apartment as me. And on top of that, she lives right next door to me. I don't know if my reaction is funny to her, but she always teases me like this. By the way, you look pale. I bet you haven't eaten anything proper since you're always busy. That's why you look skinny and weak. Uh, it's skinny and weak. Here, eat this. There was a new snack at the convenience store, so I bought a lot. Have some. What? This much? It's all sweets, but hey, if you like, eat some. Uh, thank you, Emma. All right, I'll see you later. Emma, she's not as scary as everyone says she is. She teases me a lot, but I don't mind it. She probably does it because she's bored. But the fact that she talked to me made me happy. This is how I was spending my peaceful days. And then I was called by Chato. Please, this is my last wish. Please be my joint guarantor. D joint guarantor? My dream is for everyone to drink my delicious coffee. That's why I need money to open my coffee shop. How much do you need? Four million yen. Four million? Please, Ken, I beg you. I won't cause any trouble. What? That much money? I can't. Come on, don't say that. I just want to borrow your name. This is my last wish. Uh... How am I supposed to refuse if you ask me so desperately? Uh, fine. I'll be your joint guarantor. Really? Thanks so much, Ken! This is how I became a joint guarantor of Chato. He scrambled to do everything to make his dreams come true. I'm going to use this car. I'm going to handwrite the signboard. I'm going to make the menu fancy, he was explaining happily. However, he started not coming to school that often, and after three months, he didn't come at all. I tried getting in touch with him, but nothing. Hey, little brat, pay up your debt. Since Chato disappeared, your monthly payment is 100,000 yen. Where's the money? If he's not going to pay, you're the one who has to do it for him. Anyway, cough up everything you have right now. <laughs> this is how I became broke, and I had no more money with me. I couldn't pay my rent anymore, and all of a sudden, I was left out in the cold. I don't know what to do anymore. Hey, Ken, what are you doing? Oh, Emma. Those debt collectors show up here recently. What happened? To tell you the truth, blah, blah, blah. And that's the story. I see. And that's why they're taking every penny you have. Exactly. 
<sighs> I understand you want to help out your friend achieve his dreams. <sighs> you really are a helpless guy, aren't you? Huh? I guess there's no choice. Come to my place. I'll let you stay there. What? What? Uh, but, but... Of course I'm not going to let you live rent-free. I want you to do house chores for me. House chores? It's faster if I showed you instead of explaining it to you. Just look at my room. Th this is pretty extreme. If you clean this room, you can stay here, right? I just don't feel like cleaning it alone. All right, I'll help you clean this room, so please let me stay here. All right, that's what I'm talking about. I'm counting on you. This is how I started living with Emma after being kicked out of my home. Let's start from cleaning the room. There's just enough space to walk, but I won't be able to live here with that. I've been so bad at cleaning the room ever since I was a kid. I know I just have to put things away as I use them, but I'm too lazy. Let's not put anything on the floor. The room will be much cleaner if you do that. Other than that, all you have to do is not use too much space after. Uh, 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 why is there lingerie lying here? Is it just left it on dresses? Uh, did, did she forget to put it away? Anyway, um, what should I do with this? Hey, stop procrastinating. Oh, um, that... Sorry, sorry, it was just left on the floor. <laughs> that... It's just last year's bathing suit. Oh, so nostalgic. Oh, oh, I see. But I'm sure my size changed since then. I need to buy a new one. This one's too small for me. Oh. Do you want to see me wear it? Please don't do that to me. <laughs> uh, almost done. Let's finish this. Yep, let's finish it. Wow. I didn't even imagine it would get this clean. Just getting rid of things you don't use will make the room look clean. <gasps> huh? Uh, ow, ow, ow. Ow! S sorry, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but you, you're pretty aggressive. It's just a misunderstanding. Oh, don't be so shy. It's okay. You can do whatever. Ever you want to me. Ah, it, it, it's just a misunderstanding. Yes, we're finished. It looks so much cleaner. Oh, it's been a while since I was able to see the floor. Let's keep it this way. Anyway, hope we can get along from today, Ken. Yes, me too. This is how living with Emma started. Ever since starting to live with Emma, I learned a lot about her. First thing is that she's lazy. After getting out of the shower, she doesn't even dry her hair because she's too lazy. You have to dry your hair or it'll be damaged. It's already damaged since I've been dyeing my hair. Still, you need to do it. Oh, it's okay because you dry it for me. Oh, it's heaven. Uh, the second is that she's skillful with her fingers. Hey, your button is loose. I'll fix it for you. You can fix it? Yeah, I learned how to do it in elementary school. Wow, you're so skillful. I like to do work that requires precision. Oh yeah, you also like to make nail tips. I'll make you my original nail tip for you too then. Eh, but I don't think I can put it on. I just want to make it for you. Just keep it as decoration. <laughs> Thanks. Other than that, she likes spicy food. She likes to eat a lot. She likes to study, prepares and reviews for school, and she doesn't put much clothes on in the house. Ugh, today is so humid. Y you're too naked. Hey, let's go somewhere cool. It's too hot here. <laughs> like where? Anywhere. It's cooler outside. I realize that I'm always spending time with Emma. What should I do? I was having fun every day, but I was also being forced into a corner. I really didn't have enough money to pay off the debt. I won't be able to pay my monthly expenses if this continues. What should I do? Yo, punk, how have you been? 
What? Oh, you guys! I'm getting tired of waiting, so let's have our money back. 100,000 yen each month with a 20% interest rate. You'll pay it off in no time if you just pay on time. I know, but... If you can't pay it, want me to ask your roommate to help you out? Well, she has nothing to do with this. In that case, you better have the money ready by next week. I can count on you, right? Uh, okay, so please don't involve my roommate into this. I like your guts. I'll be waiting. I need to do something. Hey, I'm home. Oh, he's home. I'll call you back later. Hey, Ken. What happened? Your face looks drained. Emma, I won't be able to come back home for a while. It, is it about the debt? That, um, I just want to talk about it with her. But I can't involve such kind-hearted Emma into this. I'm sorry, Emma. Hey, Ken! It's been a week since I left Emma's house. I've been looking for daily paying part-time jobs, and I was working my ass off. But I'm just a little short from the monthly payment amount. If they could wait just a little bit more, I need to go talk to them. Yo, punk. I'm surprised you didn't run away. So, do you have the money? Um, I'm just a little short. Huh? All right, then let's go ask your little girlfriend for help. No, don't get her involved. Shut up. It's your fault she couldn't come up with the money. But, but... Shut up! Shouting in front of another person's house? Uh, Ken? Emma, get out of here! Who the hell is this? Get out of our way! Ah, I see. So these are the debt collectors. Today is payment day, but this kid says he can't pay. It's not even his debt in the first place. So why don't you go find the guy who owes you? We tried, but... I found him! Miss Emma, I brought him here. Man, he runs away so quickly, took us a while to catch him. We made sure to call his parents, too. Chato, why are you here? I called up my gang to find him. I knew it'll be quick since I have a lot of friends. So, you can take him home. Well, in that case, we'll go home now. If there's anything else, I'm coming back for you. Shut up! Get out of here! Emma, thank you so much! Uh, don't sweat it. Oh, thank God. I thought my life was over. You didn't do anything wrong in the first place, so don't worry. We even called his parents, so he won't get away anymore. I don't know how to thank you. I don't need anything. I'm just happy that you're living with me. What? <laughs> Sorry. I like you. You're always clumsy and boring, but cute at the same time. <laughs> I just want you to stay next to me. Emma, I like you too, Emma. What? I got to know you more since living with you and started liking you more. So, Emma, will you go out with me? Of course I would. And this is how we started going out. Apparently, Chato's parents are going to do something about the debt. Thanks to that, I didn't have to become a joint guarantor anymore. And even though I didn't have any more debt, I continued to live with Emma. I was in shock when I was kicked out of my house, but never imagined it would turn out like this. You happy you ended up having debt? Definitely not. <laughs> Either way, if you have any trouble, I'll always be by your side, so don't worry. Yeah, thanks, Emma. Of course. We're together forever. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos, too.